I started going to the gym this year after eight full years of not going to the gym. January 2024, like less than three full months ago, I started becoming a gym girl going into an actual gym as opposed to previously I either worked out at home or simply did not work out at all. It's honestly scary in the beginning. Gym anxiety is a real thing, especially if you're new, but also honestly at any stage in your journey it can be scary. There may be other people around. You're afraid of judgment. You're afraid of what people are thinking about you, what they're looking at you. Are you doing something right? Are you looking like a fool? All of the above and more. They're normal worries and they're normal thoughts. But for the most part, just two and a half-ish months later, I've gotten rid of most of those thoughts. And I want to try to help you do the same and get comfortable and attack your goals and just feel good going to the gym every day. Everyone is so different mentally and physically, but here's what I did, the steps I took and what helped me and hopefully it can help you as well. First tip I have for you, which if you're signing up at a new gym, odds are you're gonna get a tour, right? Take a tour of the gym, have someone show you around. This is a very normal thing. On your tour, you know, be observant of the equipment. Maybe you take a few photo snaps and pictures of something you're confused about, something that intrigues you, something that you're interested in, but you might be a little bit intimidated to just like go walk up there on your first day so that you can have that pictures, know what brand of equipment's there, know what it's supposed to do, look it up online on your own time and just feel a little bit more comfortable so that when you walk in and go approach it in person, you're more confident. Ask a ton of questions on your tour. You're going to a new gym for all the person giving you the tour knows, like this could be your first time ever at a gym in your entire life. Like it's okay to ask questions. I've also heard, I have not personally experienced this, but I've heard that some gyms will offer a free personal training session with your sign up if that's an option for you definitely take advantage and just use it as kind of a trial get familiar with things ask questions knowledge is power and the more you know about different equipment different machines the areas of the gym whatever the more confident you're gonna be there a lot of times gym anxiety is not only like worrying about other people looking at you but it's just feeling like you don't know what's going on and so you're afraid to do things and so if you kind of take the time to learn a little bit that can ease some of those feelings. So take a tour, get a free training session if you can, take photos, ask how the locker rooms work. You know, do you need a key card? Are there codes on the doors? Have them show you every step of the way so that when you go, like, you walk in with your head high, you're confident, you know how the place works, and you're less afraid to approach things. All of this throughout this video is gonna be way easier said than done, but I do think little by little, the tips add up and they will help in the long run. My next piece of advice, which I did, is the first time you go, walk in and just go hop on the treadmill. Whether you're into running or maybe you just wanna walk, the reason I say go and just spend time on the treadmill is because it's a really easy thing, like, Basically everyone knows how to operate a treadmill, right? You you hop on it, you press go. It, there's not much to it, you just start walking, okay? Go on the treadmill, take some time, and just soak in the environment, right? Like, look at who is where, what equipment is where, where are the free weights, where are the machines, what are people doing at each piece of equipment, you know? Just be very observant and soak it all in. Try to just take mental notes. Maybe while you're on the treadmill, you literally take notes in your phone of like, what's going on, and this might sound kind of dumb to some people. It's very, very baby steps, but I think it's a good strategy. <laughs> and being new to a gym environment, I do believe that a gym environment can be very positive because, you know, everyone is there to work on themselves and things like that. And it's very much more intimidating from the outside perspective, but once you get into it, like, you know it is more welcoming. However, if you're new to this environment, there's nothing wrong with just trying to take it all in. You know, it's, it's, it's overwhelming, of course, so just take it all in. Spend time walking, observe how things are going on, take it all in. And you can take note, you know, where are the wipes to wipe down the machines? Is it a spray in towels? Are there like wet wipes? Like how do people clean up after themselves? What are people wearing? Like how does someone look when they do something? And not that everyone does everything perfectly, but it's just good to people watch and get familiar. Don't be creepy. Don't be like filming people and stuff, but just take it in. And if you're just on the treadmill, walking, minding your own business, like chances are you're not as worried about people looking at you. Just try to get used to things. Next, when you're ready to kind of like branch away from the treadmill, whether it's your first time going, your second time going, your second week going, whatever, something that I think is kind of easier to do, which allows you to branch out a little bit, but like not go in full force, is maybe you come prepared with just a dumbbell workout. Say you want to train legs that day. Okay, well you walk in, you grab whatever size dumbbells, you kind of go off to the side, off to the corner, somewhere where you do feel alone, you feel less watched, even though nobody's actually looking at you, but 
you feel less watched, do your dumbbell workout, right? It allows you to kind of slowly creep into things, maybe creep in to, you know, near where the weights are, whatever, and not just at the cardio machines. But if you're afraid to approach machines and free weights and stuff, it's kind of just an easy stepping stone to get into that stuff. If you don't know what workout to do, there are so, so, so many workouts online, on YouTube, on TikTok. And if you don't want to be like staring at your phone the whole time, if that freaks you out, look some up beforehand, write them in your notes, bring a piece of paper, like who cares, you know, write down exactly what you're going to do, put it next to you and just, just start going. You can grab a mat and bring it to the side with you, or you can, you know, if you're not sitting on the ground or anything, just grab your dumbbells and just do your thing. Again, no one's looking at you. I promise. And if people are, they may be looking, but they're not actually seeing. They're not taking in, right? They're worrying way more about themselves. And if they are judging you, well, that is their problem. That is a deeper insecurity of them and it doesn't have anything to do with you. It is not personal to you, it is personal to them if they are judging you. Always remember that. And that's kind of like a life skill, not just a gym skill. Like if someone's judging you so hard, it's usually their own insecurity speaking up. Oh. <laughs> Duncan just stretched and literally kicked the camera and when you're doing this Maybe you get closer to the equipment. Maybe not whatever again If you're curious about a piece of equipment, I personally did this take photos Okay, just snap a quick pic. It's super easy. You got an iPhone. You just swipe the lock screen You take a quick picture of what the piece of equipment is you go home you google it You figure out what it is. You know how to work it. It's that much easier So it's just another chance for you to do that and another little baby step to get into things more all these things I've mentioned so far, I have personally done, besides the tour of the gym. I got like virtual videos. I didn't like walk through it before I started going. I'll explain more later. But I did the treadmill. I did the dumbbell workout. I took photos and Googled them that night. <laughs> and maybe you're more confident, you don't need to do that, but we're talking about baby steps here because slowly approaching something can just make it way less intimidating. Also some thoughts on dressing for the gym to make you feel your best. I mentioned this in a previous video and I have to include it now because I think it can be valuable. We are gonna wear all black to the gym today. I feel like wearing all black, you feel secure, it's a good, confidence booster as well. Another little tip is wearing a hat. I really feel like putting a hat on, you just kind of feel like you have a little bit of blinders on and like people matter less. You're not like looking at them, worrying about them looking at you, even though they're not looking at you because everyone's so concerned about what they look like that they're not actually looking at someone else, but we all go through it, right? Some chapstick though. I do not want crusty lips in there. Just think of everything that helps make you feel more secure confident and comfortable. That's what I'm doing right now. Another tip is that instead of my AirPods, I'm actually gonna wear my Beats over the head headphones. Again, it kind of just acts like blinders. Like, I feel like you feel a little more in the zone, kind of by yourself, which in this case is good for me, right? And so these together are like a power duo. That should help. My next tip is that in the beginning, it's really important that you just make yourself go, right? Going to the gym is hard enough. Being new to, you know, a fitness journey or whatever your goals are, it's hard enough to be consistent, right? Consistency is the most important thing, but it is really hard, especially because days you're going to be motivated, days you're going to be tired, whatever. But the reason I want to emphasize that you got to just make yourself go is not only is it good for your whole consistency, your goals, whatever, but it really helps you get comfortable in the gym. It helps you work on that relationship. It helps you overcome these anxious feelings and the uncomfortability, the intimidation. The more you go, the more comfortable you are and the more confident you'll be in yourself and in your workouts and performing these things, the more you're just gonna grow. And it's, it's all positive from there. If you only go every now and then, like, of course, every single time you go to the gym, you're gonna be kind of scared and anxious to go. But if you're just consistently showing up, getting used to things, that eases so much over time. Of course, everyone goes at different paces, but whatever consistency means to you, you gotta just make yourself go. Whether it's twice a week, every week, whether it's six days a week, every week, whatever it is for you, you gotta just make yourself go. And that might be one of the hardest things to do, but that is the most important thing. The next thing is that I wanna point out that the machines and different equipment and things like that are less intimidating than they may seem. If you're very new to the gym and there's all these different things and you do all these weird movements on different things and you don't know how to set up or adjust or whatever, all the machines have directions right on them. And it's okay if you have to like, 
take a sec, read the directions. I promise nobody is judging you for like going up to a machine and trying to read it and make sure you're adjusting things right so that you can perform a skill properly. Like if people are judging you for that, they gotta get out of the gym. Like that's just like ridiculous. They're not an asset to the environment. <laughs> and also machines and different equipment that set you up to perform a skill a lot of times are kind of self-explanatory. Like they'll have directions, but you kind of figure it out. You don't have to be a genius to operate a piece of equipment. And I'm talking about specifically like a lat pull down machine, something like that. I'm not talking about like going over and setting up for squats. I'm talking about a very like machine that's only meant for one movement, things like that. And that's also a very easy way to get into things. You know, if you don't want to try like free weights and setting up the whole bar and squatting, whatever, if that's too scary for you, definitely start with the machines and dumbbells. There's so, so, so much you can do with different types of those specific machines and dumbbells that you can use those as stepping stones before you approach free weights if that's what you want to do and of course things are harder in the moment like say you think like okay I'm gonna go use this machine today and then you walk up to it and you start like panicking like oh my gosh I'm like taking too long here I don't know what's going on like whatever just take a moment breathe you'll figure it out or you can ask someone for help. I know this is scary if you have social anxiety, if you're like new to the gym and you're like, there's no way I'm talking to anyone. But a lot of people say that people at the gym are way nicer than you think and more willing to help you than you may think. I don't know, I guess you don't know if you don't try. Maybe it is worth it to ask someone if someone looks approachable near you. Again, you gotta remind yourself that really everyone is there to work on themselves. Everyone has different starting points, different goals, whatever. And like people can relate, you know, they get it. And if they're more experienced than you, you know, they were in your shoes once being new and trying to figure these things out. Like they get it. And once you get more and more comfortable using machines, adjusting benches, things like that, you won't think twice about trying a new machine because you're just so used to the other ones. And like I said, there's directions. It's kind of self-explanatory. Like you'll slowly figure it out and you'll slowly probably even want to explore new things and new exercises and try new things. Or maybe you see someone across the gym, like using something and then they get done with it and you're like, oh, that looked kind of cool like let me go see what it's all about like you got to push yourself to try things and I'm all for slow progress baby steps you know if you need to take it slow because you are scared and intimidated and worried that's totally okay but it does come to a point where you gotta kind of push yourself and get, get out there. A huge tip I have that kind of changed the game for me going to the gym and really helped build a positive relationship for me is once you do get kind of comfortable, you try a few things out, whatever, look into following a program. Honestly, I think this was the best thing that I did. I started the Alive app at the end of January of this year and I genuinely enjoy each workout I do. It makes me feel safe and secure here in the gym. Not only do I have something guiding me step by step through my entire workout, but there's video examples. If I'm not sure what muscles it's supposed to be working, it says in the description so I can make sure I slowly perform the exercise and I feel it in that muscle. And if not, you know, maybe I take a second to look it up online and find a video of someone talking me through it. It's just nice. It takes the pressure off of you. Someone else is telling you what to do. You don't think you look stupid because, you know, someone else created this plan for you. They're not these like random exercises you came up with, especially if you're someone without, you know, much knowledge or experience or like what a proper workout should look like. I'm not. <laughs> I just seriously love following a plan. I personally really, really would recommend the Alive app. I started with the program Legs Get It on beginner level. I finished that and now I'm doing the same legs get it but I'm on the intermediate level and it does get harder and also what I love about it is starting from beginner is really awesome especially as a new gym person because a lot of it is dumbbells you know and it, it kind of slowly incorporates more movements more complex things and more machines and now that I'm on intermediate I feel like I've experienced a lot more in the gym and I understand how things work more so not only did I slowly kind of branch out but my plan pushed me. It was like, hey, you gotta use this machine. Like, what am I gonna do? Just not use the machine? Like, I'm, I'm gonna use it. And it's really nice because there are substitutions. My gym doesn't have every piece of equipment, which is totally fine. But so if I can't do something because they don't have a piece, it will give me an alternate exercise that works the same muscles. That's like good for the day and group of muscles I'm working on. That just doesn't incorporate that piece of equipment since I don't have it. It really just boosted my confidence. I don't know. It like, I just want to emphasize how safe and secure I feel having it with me. Like it's such a good resource and there's so many apps out there. I just personally have experienced 
experience with this one and really really love it no this is not an ad but i stand behind this app so much it is created by whitney simmons and i know people love her but like i personally don't even follow her like i got the app because someone recommended it to me and i love it and it's not even because i'm like a whitney simmons stan i mean i'm sure she's great i just don't know her but i love the app that she's created it's also not weird to follow something on your phone like i promise it's not weird some people like go to the gym and sit on their phone which is whatever but like i walk in there i get a little mat i set my phone down i start the workout it has a warm-up i'll do the warm-up then when that's done you know i'll just pick my phone up and go with me wherever i'm going to work out whatever exercise i'm doing once that's done clean it up take my phone with me go somewhere else you know like it's not weird to be like on your phone because i'm not like sitting there like scrolling again nobody's really watching you and people do that in the gym whatever but it's not weird to like have it like guide you the whole time i think it's really cool actually and it just takes the worry out of things like i could talk about this for hours after i finish this program and i've had two solid programs done i am gonna do a whole video about the alive app so subscribe that will be coming also so many apps have free trials so if you're worried i pay after tax 15 dollars 81 cents per month for the alive app but again so many apps have different free trials so just try them out if you don't like it cancel it i also am a really hardcore mind pump girly i listen to their episodes every single day and they have so many programs and i really really trust those guys so maybe look into theirs they have sales all the time like there really are so many resources online also with the alive app which i'm sure you can do this in other apps too but you can rearrange exercises like say a piece of equipment is taken well i can just put that next on the list and i can go to a different exercise and then once that equipment is free i can go over and use it so it's super super easy so user friendly and again you gotta just keep going following a program is something that i think really helps me with consistency it's almost like i don't want to break the streak and i like seeing like oh i have another week down in my program oh i'm closer and closer to the end like it really is a good motivator and helps me stay accountable and another gym tip is especially if you're new to working out in general plan your gym time into your schedule. Don't plan your schedule around the gym. If it's a new habit, it is something you have to make so easy and so convenient for yourself. And if you all of a sudden are like, okay, I'm gonna start being a 5 a.m. gym girly, even though that's just like not at all what you do. And it's really reaching and you know that, like it's gonna be so easy to just hit snooze, skip the gym. <laughs> Duncan, <laughs> skip your workouts. Like you gotta plan it into your schedule. And maybe you are really busy. Maybe you work all day, you come home, you have to do this, 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 and this. And maybe you are someone that is gonna have to slowly start learning to wake up so that you can go to the gym before work. That's gonna take some work in itself, but you have to start adopting your waking up early habits before you can start adopting going to the gym, right? Starting slow is always gonna be better. Start waking up earlier, then start going to the gym maybe twice a week, then three, then four, once you can handle it, once you're used to that. But you gotta make your schedule work for you. All of this habit and consistency talk is really just to emphasize the point of how important it is to continue going because the more you go, the more confident and comfortable you'll get, the less the gym anxiety is going to matter and the less it's going to be taking over your mind. So just some tips on how to, you know, get yourself to go because that's really going to save you in the end. I personally, so I moved, which if you're not new here, you would know this, but from Wisconsin to Texas, I literally moved on New Year's Day starting new year's day the drive we ended up getting here january 3rd i didn't work out for like at least a week maybe two weeks then i started kind of going and then at the end of january is when i started following a program and it's barely april when i'm filming this so it hasn't even been three months that i've been actively going but the amount of comfort and confidence and just growth i feel from starting to go till now and regularly going like basically every day it just being part of my routine is crazy like i just feel so different and my relationship has just grown and gotten so much better and more positive and i really think the baby steps just helped me it's what i needed and i do want to say i work out at my apartment my apartment actually has a really awesome gym but of course because it's an apartment gym it's smaller so with less people in it it still feels more crowded right like it probably is more intimidating to go to a real big gym like i totally get that but i still think that these baby steps apply basically anywhere but for me it's like i have a great amount of equipment and the space because again it's in my apartment it is a bit smaller so like say there's five people in it you still feel like you're on top of each other it feels crowded compared to like a bigger gym there's x amount of people and then it feels crowded and i feel like the closer you are to people kind of the more you feel in people's way the more you start kind of worrying like oh, are they watching me are they whatever whatever because if you're in this giant gym and it's empty it's not 
not that intimidating, right? And some days I do need to remind myself too, like, okay, Morgan, literally nobody cares about you. Nobody's looking at you. Like, literally nobody cares. Like, it's, it, it, nobody cares. And it's in the most positive way, right? Like, nobody cares about you, but in the best way. And what I think is weird, I honestly find myself getting more intimidated with other girls in the gym. Like, the guys don't scare me, as weird as that sounds. And I think that's just coming from a place of women in general, a lot of the time, have a harder time struggling with comparison and things like that. And I think that's really what it is for me. And just, like, thinking, like, oh, she looks so much better than me. Like, whatever, whatever. But it's, like, again, everyone starts from somewhere. You don't know how long someone's been doing this. Like, I do need to give myself those reminders. But to be honest, I'm not scared of the guys. I don't know. I'm just like, you're a dude. Like, I don't really care. Which I feel like a lot of times girls would be the opposite. They'd be in intimidated by the big dudes. But like, because I've been so into weightlifting lately, like I find it so empowering and so cool that I'm like, hey, I'm doing what you're doing. <laughs> maybe with less weight, but like I'm doing what you're doing because I can and I will and I should. Or maybe with more weight. I don't know. <laughs> We're all at different spots. And if I didn't have the resources I do in my own apartment, of course I would be paying for a gym membership. Like I really do enjoy working out not at home. Actually, like even though right now it's in my building, it's not in my apartment. I really enjoy going to a gym gym facility and having more resources and being in that environment, you know, walking in that door every day. And there is kind of that separation between your life and, you know, you're there to do stuff. And that is another thing I really like about weightlifting is like, you have to focus. Like if you do something wrong, you can hurt yourself. We are definitely here supporting women, getting stronger, building muscles, doing the things, creating a strong body, you know, and a strong life and just working for your present self but also your long-term self you know building muscle and getting movement in and all that stuff is so important for your short and long-term health and I just remind myself that every day like I want to age gracefully and I want to have like a high quality life as long as I'm on this planet having exercise and like the gym being a solid part of my life really is so important and so supportive of that and the reason I bring that up too is like I'm all for cardio right like I love the 12 through 30 I do it every week like I love that type of movement as well but that stuff is less intimidating you can be anxious about literally anything in the gym like gym anxiety is an umbrella term it can apply to so many different people scenarios equipment whatever but I personally think it's more intimidating you know to go to the gym and try to operate these equipments and machines and different things versus like going to the gym and just hopping on a treadmill and elliptical etc right that's a little bit easier mentally and the last thing i need to leave you with is that you belong there okay just because it's your day one and there is a gym bro by you who it's his day 601 you both belong you both pay the monthly fee you both deserve to be there. You're both working at goals. Don't feel invalid just because you are new or you feel like you have such a long way to go or whatever. I mean, you don't know. Maybe he has a long way to go too, even if he looks super fit. You don't know what he's struggling with. Like, just know that you belong, you have a purpose, and you deserve to be there. I feel like a lot of the times, me, if I, like, notice that I'm ready to use a new piece of equipment and so is the person next to me, sometimes I'll, like, wait and see what they're gonna go use next because I wanna, like, let them go first instead of, like, like me going to use a piece of equipment being afraid that like we want the same thing like I'll let them go first but no it's like I if I'm done like I can just go start using something and if he means to use it he can go after me I don't know if that makes any sense but like sometimes I think about that I'm like I finish an exercise and I'm like wait we both finish like are you gonna go use what I'm gonna go use cuz like I don't know so you belong you deserve to be there you should be there and if you got yourself there in the first place you're ahead of so many people so do the darn thing and know your worth and remember your why is always so important remember your goals goals don't happen overnight they happen because of what you do every single day so those are my best tips on overcoming gym anxiety i'm sure there are so many more tips and strategies so please comment what helps you with any gym anxiety you might deal with so that we can all help each other and tackle our goals and simply become the best version of ourselves everyone's experience is different where you are in your journey I know it's all different and whatever but I really hope this helped and that there's at least something you can take away from this video I love talking about these things I've come so far and I love it I really really love what I've been up to I love you I'm always rooting for you of course thank you so much for watching please subscribe if you have not and I'll see you in my next one